Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the bantamweight bout between Chad and Helliger versus um, Charlampo's um, Gregorio. Or, yeah, Gregorio. So, Chad and Helliger versus Charlampo's Gregorio. Struggling with his name a little bit, but um, confidence level, average confidence, um, Charlampo's Gregorio to beat Chad and Helliger. But, um, yeah, and Helliger is... Um, He's pushing like 40 years old. He's like 38, 37. Pushing 40. Not really on the best streak. Definitely like more of a momentum pick. You got a younger fighter who's like 30, 31 versus a guy who's like 37, 38, pushing 40. And again, now in the best momentum. So a guy coming in off a contender series win, stoppage in the first round, good performance. A guy who's been struggling, like I think below 500 in UFC and seemingly on his way out. And I think Gregorio um, got a good power. He's good with what I'm And Chad and, and Helling is not a no scrub. He's like, not a guy with poor takedown defense or super chinny or bad technique. He's a good well rounded fighter. He's a solid fighter. I just feel like, you know, he's kind of, again, up, up there in age now. And he just lacks that certain edge. Like, he's just one of those type of fighters. Like, he's not bad by any means. He's definitely UFC caliber. He's good, well rounded. But he does, he like he lacks the edge to really thrive and be consistent in UFC. That's what he kind of lacks. And I feel like, fresher face, hunger guy coming in, um, Gregorio should be able to I'll work him, land the bigger shots, and beat him by the city. I think it would be a good competitive fight. But I think Gregory is just, you know, younger, going to have more in the tank, and he's going to be able to push through and have the bigger impacts in the fight and get his hand raised in the decision victory. So, in this one, I got Charlampo's Gregorio via decision. 